we'll go see! We'll make them later, but first, let's start with fluffy marshmallow sheets. Their bodies will be made from chocolate cupcakes. We need butter, sugar, and vanilla extract. We're going to stir all of them together really well until we get a perfect fluffy mix. Sue, I've been shepherding some eggs here! Let's crack them one by one. Try not to get any eggshell into the mix. Now let's make the batter fluffy again! Mixer, make a huge whoosh! Freshly made buttermilk right from the slime farm! Thank you! <laughs> I guess slimes can do anything. Let's add our buttermilk into the bowl. Then we'll make another round of shake shake! <laughs> Sammy, use the whisk for this! Guys, we'll let Sam do some mixing. In the meantime, let's prepare the dry ingredients. Here are flour, baking powder, and some cocoa. I'll show you a real shake shake this time! Holy cannoli! That was something! Now we can sift the dry ingredients into the bowl with the batter. Be careful at this stage, guys, or ask an adult to help. I'm dancing in the rain and singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. Hey, Sammy, bring a cupcake pan here. The batter is almost done. We'll have a whole block of sheep! What a day! Guys, heat an oven up to 180 degrees Celsius and charge the pan there for 25 minutes. I'll deal with that! And you, make the wool! Sure! The wool is gonna be made of two main parts. Creamy base and fluffy marshmallow topping. We're gonna start with the base. The main thing here is to mix everything properly. Here we have some cream. Now goes the whipped cream and then vanilla sugar. When you're done, let this mixture cool down for a bit. My part is more fun! I'm gonna separate marshmallows! Pink to the right, white to the left. <laughs> Sammy, you've started a marshmallow battle! When you finish, you'll get ready to shape Annie's face! Amy is such a cute name! Sounds like Sammy, right? <laughs> For this step, we'll knead marzipan with powdered sugar and shape cute little face features. What a cute little sheep we've made! She's Defo Amy! Little cannoli! The cupcakes are ready! I really love our little Annie. Sam, where are you? Susie, I found the prettiest cupcake for Annie! Thanks! Let's start with the cold whipped cream. Smear it all over the top like this. Mmm, looks so yummy! After that, attach small marshmallow pieces from the broadest part to the center. Whoa! I can't wait to see the results, Sue! Annie, let's find you new friends! My Bella, go find yourself a pretty meadow! Guys, we're switching to the second recipe. Sammy has been waiting for it. Woohoo! We're making cookie turtles! What do we have here? Flour, powdered sugar and eggs, vanilla extract, some oil, baking soda, and starch. And some butter, of course! Come on, Susie! When can we add some cocoa to this? In a moment, when the dough is kneaded, we'll divide it into two parts. Where is another piece going? I don't want to share! That piece is for the second part. Now let's make some choco turtle shells. I love chocolate! Guys, give a thumbs up if you do too! Let's pour some into our bowl! I like it too, but I also like coloring the dough. This piece is gonna be green. Sure! I totally forgot about that! And more, Susie! Here's a quick tip. Put on the glove so your fingers don't turn green. Let's start with one cute little turtle. Here are its limbs and a chocolate shell. The last one isn't ready yet. We should add some texture to it! You're right. Each turtle will have its own unique grid pattern on the shell. Guys, follow me and we'll see what you get! Now let's send our turtles outside! I mean to the oven! But don't forget to put all of the pieces together, like this. The finishing touch is a couple of big chocolate eyes. Here we go! Go to the oven, my turtle army! I wish you would turn sweet and yummy! While the turtle cookies are baking, let's get to another famous animal helper. These are the future mice! 
First, we'll whisk some flour, baking powder, and salt. Then, into the mixer bowl, we'll put butter, vegetable shortening, sugar, and coloring. Which is blue, by the way. Let's mix them up! Susie, check this out! Choco Turtles came back! Oh, that one is so cute! Did you find a comfy plate for them? Yeah, it's tightly packed! There you go, buddy! Sammy, come back! The mice are waiting for you! I'm adding small parts of dry ingredients and mixing them into our batter. The main thing here, guys, is not to rush. Be patient and you'll get something really cool! Keep going, Susie! I'll make a video! should be cooled down in a fridge for three hours! Hail Tibidaba! We can use a time lapse! Now let's shape the first mouse! We'll use a small scoop to portion the dough like this. What? A mouse like this wouldn't help Cinderella get to the ball! I guess we should just shape it a bit, see? Now it looks more like a mouse, right? Not till we attach these ears to its head! Good point! Here comes one. And another ear. Such a cutie! Don't forget about the eyes to look around and the nose to sniff in every corner! We'll bake them in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius and then we'll attach the wiggling tails. See you in ten, guys! Guys, the baking time has passed like a second, right? All of the tails are in their places, and now it feels a bit crowded here. Just a bit? Lights are everywhere! Give way! Ah, <sighs> finally I have time to enjoy myself. Mmm. Out! Or I'm gonna be left without Oreos! Here, you can start opening these. Salty pretzels? I wanted to taste something sweet, you know. Well, of course! That's why we'll make a topping from milk chocolate. Swirl a magic tornado, and it's melted! Woo! Attention, pretzel! You're jumping into a chocolate swamp! <laughs> yeah, fellas, we need to drown you a bit, and from the other side, too. Now you can rest on the baking tray while we are finishing with the others. Passengers, we're heading to the freezer to cool down for five minutes! And I'm going to make a yellow topping for the Oreo bees. We'll use melted white chocolate and food coloring to get a nice bright color. Shimmer me cheddar! It looks so colorful and yummy! Sammy, you've brought a cookie! Great! Erm, you can already give it away. No, no! Thanks! Oh, I was hoping to get one first. When we're finished, you'll get plenty of those. That's a promise. Fly, small bee! Right to your chocolate wings! Whoosh! Perfect landing! Next Oreo bomb! Splash! Now coat it in chocolate! Easy peasy! Let's roll it a few times like this. And one more bee is ready! Control the landing! To the left! Yep! Perfect, Captain! Guys, check this out! We can make a few more! Try not to eat all of these by yourselves, though! That was aimed at me, right? Now I can see all perspectives! Susie, we ran out of candy eyes! I think I know where they have all gone. <laughs> These candy eyes are for the bees only. Sorry, but I have to take the others, too. I still have my goggles on! Actually, I don't see any bees here. Only some bugs! I have a solution. We'll just add some chocolate stripes on their backs. There you go! The first bee is ready to fly! Just check this out, Sammy. Now all of them will have this heart-shaped blush. <laughs> I love all bees! You're amazing! 
Anyway, stay alert! It turns out that the chocolate bees can also sting! I'm prepared for this! Keep them in the fridge for 30 minutes so they'll cool down! And after that, we'll visit our animal cookie kingdom again! Hi guys, as you might have already guessed, today we are going to make cotton candy. How come I didn't think of that type of cotton in the first place? We should have used that cotton candy maker a long time ago, Sue! Well, it's not me who always eats up all the sugar in our house. True! I like my five o'clock tea with eight spoonfuls at least! <laughs> so, am I getting eight portions of cotton candy? Better, you're gonna get a multi-layered cotton candy cake. <laughs> Like a dream come true! Uh, Sue, uh, what are you doing? Well, do you want your cake to be colorful? Sure! And one way to do that is to color the sugar. Oop! Mmm, sounds tasty! I'm ready, Sue! <laughs> Sammy, you're too ready! Don't add too much of the food coloring right away, guys. Are you sure that just a few drops are enough, Sue? Don't worry, Sammy. We can make it brighter later if needed. And now comes our really fun part. We're gonna just rub the plastic bag against the table. Or you can just rub it between your hands, this way, very thoroughly. Shiver me cheddars, it really is green now, people. Now that we're done with the first color, let's make some more. I'm on it, Susie. Nothing. There we go. Do you want to try that coloring technique, Sammy? Are you kidding? I can't wait to do that. <laughs> All right. On your mark, get set, go. Guys, would you just look at this? The colors are amazing. My yellow sugar turned out better than your purple, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Then what would you say about these? What? When did you... How come... Oh, whoa. Oh, I guess my head's spinning because of that colorful sweetness. Guys, check this out. You can use your colored sugar in more than one way. <laughs> it can become a cool decorative element as well. But you remember why we needed it in the first place, right? So stay tuned, guys! Let's get to the cotton candy making! Woohoo! Easy, Tiger. Huh? You have to be careful with an appliance like this. You see this funny thing in the middle? It's the heating element. Once we put sugar over here and turn it on... It's gonna start melting sugar at about 190 degrees Celsius! Woo! That's hot! That's right! So, you guys should be extremely careful or ask your parents to help. Here we go. Hey, it's coming up, Sue! Chill out, Sammy. I can see everything. This way. Just look at all those fluffy sugar threads. Stop getting distracted, Susan! Just roll it up! Ta-da! Well, Sammy, what do you say about our very first homemade cotton candy? It looks like a sweet and fluffy cloud. Oh, I have to taste it. Um, um. What's there to taste? <laughs> Sammy, stop that. You could give me some. Ouch! Mm. This is the best day of my life. So beautiful. Oh, a unicorn. Wait, unicorns eat cotton candy? No! Tammy, are you okay? Uh, yeah, totally. Uh, don't tell Sue about that. Let's proceed with the next color. Here we go. 
and start. Huh, I haven't heard from Sammy for a while now. I wonder what he's doing. I'm here, Susie. Did you know that the very first cotton candy appeared back in the 15th century in the Italia? The Venetians mastered that craftsmanship and made the 1,286 items from cotton candy for one fancy royal party. But sugar was too expensive back then, and cotton candy was available only to rich people. Susan, what's taking you so long with that yellow? Uh, nothing. Please, tell me more about cotton candy. Not until 1897 did a dentist and a confectioner create a miraculous cotton candy machine. Here is the yellow one. Susan, at this rate, we will never taste a cotton candy cake. Oh, maybe we will. Ah, you're right. Let me speed up with the rest of the colors then. Here we go. Check this out, guys. Now we have everything to shape our cake. Wait a second, Susie. We might need to make the green again. Uh, I couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, Sammy. <laughs> guys, we'll be right back. Oop, oop. What you asked for. Thank you, Sammy. Guys, now we're going to work quite fast, so watch closely. To make the first layer of our cake, we'll take the blue cotton candy and slide it right into this silicone mold, like this. Oh, it's like a piece of cloud on the plate. Wow. Next, we'll take another cotton candy and repeat the same procedure. Here we go. We need to do this with all the colors of cotton candy that we've made today. Guys, work in gloves so that cotton candy doesn't melt from the heat of your hands. And remember that you can use as many cotton candy layers as you want. The more layers there are, the sweeter your cake will be. Isn't that what we're going for? <laughs> okay, we're almost done here. You're about to see some real confectionery magic, people. Are you ready? Let's do this. Wait till you hear that there is more. Guys, try not to squeeze your cotton candy too tightly so that you can still take it out of the mold. Check out this rainbow beauty. Beauty, it looks so delicious. When will I taste it? As soon as we decorate it. <gasps> Actually, I have an idea. We will decorate each piece of our cake individually. Guys, always be careful with the knife. Or, better yet, ask an adult to help you at this stage. Actually, you can ask your parents to join you for the decoration part as well. Check out what I've got here, Susie. Cool. But this is not enough. Sue, what did you do with my decor? Now that's more like it. Just look at all this beauty, Sammy. Awesome, right? Shiver me sprinkles, so many cool things. This piece will decorate with marshmallows. And let this one be chocolatey. Here we go. I want to make one look really magical. Now anyone who eats it can make a wish upon a star. <laughs> oh, this looks like a whole party on a single cake. <laughs> Willy Wonka style. Why are you chilling out here? Move! Yeah. And last but not least, funny bubbles. Boop, boop, boop. Well, Sammy, are you happy with your cake? Not quite yet. I think we could totally get wild. <laughs> Sammy, that's a perfect idea. But we had better do this really fast. Mmm, vanilla, my favorite. Take a glance at our cake before the ice cream melts. Or before I eat everything. 